considering becoming a first-time cat owner? Have you owned cats in the past and are now looking to own one again? Do you already own a cat and are contemplating adding a new member to your family? Do you gaze fondly at videos of cats and kittens on YouTube? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then you might want to take advantage of what's happening at Nevada Humane Society. Here at Nevada Humane Society, we sort of believe that it's all shelter cats all the time. But the month of June is just a little special. You see, June is the official National Adopt a Shelter Cat Month. The way we see it, June is the month for barbecues, baseball, ice cream, and adopting cats. When we return, we'll talk about some of the benefits of cat ownership. Welcome back to City Critters. Whether you're looking for a companion for yourself or companionship for your other pets, cats add a unique quality to any relationship. So much so, the research has shown that pet owners are generally healthier, less stressed or depressed, and more likely to recover from serious illness or accidents. Studies have shown that aside from having a constant companion that is always there when you wake up or when you put the key in the door, people who adopt cats seem to have a buffer against loneliness, maintain a clear sense of purpose, are more likely to exercise, and have lower blood pressure. Whether you're looking for a snuggly cat to curl up with while you're watching TV, a cat that will play and play, or a talkative cat that will share your day, <laughs> we can find the right match for you. We can even help you find your kitty look-alike. That sounds pretty good to me. So with so many reasons to adopt a cat, I say, why not? With that in mind, during the entire month of June, all adoption fees are waived for adult cats. Yep, you heard me right. So come on down and find your perfect feline friend with no adoption fees. And all our cats are spayed, neutered, vaccinated, and microchipped. When we return, we'll show you some of our special feline friends that are here waiting for you. June is Adopt a Cat Month at Nevada Humane Society, and it looks like someone left on the cat making machine. We've got new models, old models, cute cats, ugly cats. Looking for pep? We've got that. Or just a lazy cat to cover up the hole in the couch? Got that too. Calico cats, Siamese cats, short haired cats, long haired cats, fat haired cats, spotted cats, striped cats. White cats, black cats, even a few scratch and dead models. You name it, we've got it. They need to find a home, your home. Adoption fees is way for all adult cats during June. Come on down to the Nevada Humane Society and take one of these guys home today. Welcome back to City Critters. With us today is Brittany Farrell, the Adoptions Manager at Nevada Humane Society. Brittany, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Nicole. Brittany, tell us a little bit about this National Adopt-A-Cat Month. Sure, Nicole. Well, here at Nevada Humane Society, we are waiving the fee on all adult cats over six months here in the shelter, and there are so many great ones to choose from. Wow, that sounds really exciting. Yeah. Hope that we get homes for a lot of cats. Yes. So tell me, do you have cats at home yourself? I do. And you know, for the longest time I was a dog person and I just didn't think a cat was the right fit for me. And then there was just this one that got my eye and I persuaded my husband to bring him in and he has just been the biggest love and I'm so happy we made that decision. Well, that's exciting. And I think you also have dogs, right? I do. I have two dogs and I was a little concerned about how that was going to work out, but they've turned out to be very good friends. Okay. So with the experience of having both a cat and dog, maybe you can share a little bit about um, the benefits of owning a cat over some other pets, say maybe a dog. There are, you know, it's, it's fun. I love going walking with my dogs. I love all of the fun and joy they bring me. But there's just something special about having a cat at home when you're watching a movie and they just come and curl up on your lap. It's the sweetest thing ever. Yeah, that's the, and that's what cats are so good at. Yes. Just curling up and loving on you. Definitely. Mm -hmm. 
tell me about the room that we're in. This is a colony, correct? Yes, we're in one of our colonies. We have several here at the Nevada Humane Society. Mm -hmm. It's a great home-like environment where they can sit on the couch, they can perch up in a window and see what's going on outside. It's really great for them here. That's great. Are there any cats in here that you want to highlight? This is CB. He's one of my favorite friends here at the shelter. He's a little nervous in new situations. He's just looking for a home that he can call his own where he can have a nice couch to sit on and a nice friend to have. Yeah, he looks very sweet. A little concerned about what's going on here with all the cameras. He is. He's very curious. But would make a great pet at home. He really would. You should come adopt CB today. While Brittany is getting us another cat to show, I wanted to remind you that all adoption fees are waived for adult cats, which are cats over six months. It's a great savings and a great opportunity. This is Daphne. She's one of our senior cats here at Nevada Humane Society. She's actually been with us over 90 days, and we are really trying to find her a good home. Please come down and meet Daphne today. We have one more cat to show you, and while Brittany's getting that cat, I wanted to tell you that our adoption goal for this month is to adopt out 875 animals. Now, my hope is that the majority of those will be cats. This is Cuffy. She's one of our senior declawed cats. She's also been here over 90 days, and she's looking for a new home today. Brittany, thank you so much for being here and showing us some of your favorite kitties. You're welcome, Nicole. It was my pleasure. One last question. If somebody is interested in adopting a cat, what do they need to do? Well, in order to adopt a cat, I would invite them to come here to the shelter on Longley Lane to visit all of the great cats we have. We can set them up in a one-on-one -on -one visitation with them and their family to make sure that it's the right fit. And then after that, they would fill out an application and meet with one of our counselors, and then they would be taking the cat home today. Oh, that sounds wonderful. We hope that you'll come on down and find a new furry friend. You locate your newest shelter, you go down there, and you pick out the perfect match for you. Me. Welcome back to City Critters. Now it's time for Nevada Humane Society news. Nevada Humane Society happy endings are not just for cats and dogs. This is Lucky Plucky. She's a wonderful red hen who was found as a stray in Lemon Valley and brought to Nevada Humane Society. She was adopted by the Wet Hen Cafe just last week. The owners of this restaurant let her loose in a chicken coop and she's already getting along with her other chicken siblings. Congrats, Miss Plucky, on your new home. No, she won't end up as lunch at Wet Hen. Rather, she will live a long and happy life. Super Dog Lives. At least, that's what the Hutchinson family thinks. You may have heard the story on the news about Lexi, the eight-year-old Chow mixed dog that was recently adopted from Nevada Humane Society. Don and Jamie Hutchinson adopted Lexi. Three nights later, Don was working a night shift and Jamie heard something happening in the house. Their baby was asleep in the next room and began to cry. Jamie called the police, but Lexi the Superdog didn't hesitate. She began to bark and bark and bark until the intruder was scared away. I'd say Lexi secured her place in that family. And speaking of dogs, in June, Nevada Humane Society will host the first of three very special dog washes. It'll be held in the Whole Foods parking lot. Bark and Bubbles will be held on Saturday, June 18th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Whole Foods parking lot. Get your dog washed, support homeless animals, and have a great time. And that's all for this episode of Nevada Humane Society News. Next up, success stories. Stay with us. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Maybe you should go to your shelter and get a mature dog. Make your blues disappear. How's that for tricks? I got picked. Wow. We've been talking about the joy of cat ownership. 
we thought we'd spend a little time showing you some of the success stories of cats that have been recently adopted at Nevada Humane Society. Tilly, a three-year-old tortie, was adopted in early March. We're happy to report her new person praises her daily. He says she's already lost a bit of weight, which is a good thing because she was a little heavy when she left us. She plays and chases the other cats, sleeps in the bed, and basically has run of the house. Congrats, Tilly, or Tillyosaurus, as they call her. We do love our plump kitties. This is Rex. His family says he's been a blessing since we've adopted him in November. We have two older large dogs who have shown Rex the ropes. So much so that I think the cat actually believes himself to be like a dog. He runs when we give the dogs treats and wonders where his is and tries to play with the dogs when they wrestle and even thinks that the dog food should be his as well. Rex especially loves our two-year-old retriever, Ember. They have a very special bond. They even prefer to sleep in the same bed together, a dog bed. Well, thank you, Kane family, for sharing your joy of adopting a cat. We love happy endings. Ham and eggs may be an odd name for a cat, but the Roberts family thinks it's great. They say, old ham and eggs is doing great. He's got a little girlfriend and is actually settling down. We've even added to his name. Now he's called Rooster Ham and Eggs Cogburn. Although we regulate his diet with cat food, he's still sneaking a bratwurst or two on occasion. While we didn't actually see him steal the brat, one was missing and there were two greasy little paw prints that seemed to match his feet. He likes the windows open so he can take a stroll in the sun when he feels the urge. He's a great boy and we couldn't have asked for a better partner. He's slacking on his mouse duties, but Frisco, our golden retriever, has taken him under his wing. Thanks for Rooster. So those are just a few of our success stories, families who have adopted cats here at Nevada Humane Society and have brought them into their family and truly love them. If you have a story to share or photos that you'd like to share with our audience, send them in to info at nevadahumanesociety.org. We'd love to see them and share your story. We also hope that you'll come on down and adopt a new kitty into your home so that you'll have even more success stories to share. Thank you for joining us at City Critters.